Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna have a little bit of a twist to it because we were talking all things piercing in this video and we need you guys to be the judge and the jury on this one. You have to listen in to see what I'm talking about, but I am doing a little bit of a color transformation on my longtime client and also a curly co-cut on her daughter's hair. So stay tuned for a future video if you want to see how I did a beautiful haircut on her daughter's beautiful curls so here i am applying a soap cap to her hair as you can see here it has already processed it's gotten super bright and light at the root area which i expected because it was her natural hair the end of the hair was previously colored with like a red color and as you can see this is her results okay it's very very bright at the roots but let's let's tune in and hear what's going on we don't want to miss a beat here fantastic it's definitely different mm -hmm. it's just like a true on the end it's like a true um Yeah. It, it washes you out mm -hmm. with the roots. So think of that in terms of like if you're going to go gray. So let's cover up this. You can see the blonde still. Oh yeah, no. So imagine that in a very matte gray or frosty gray. Mm -hmm. It might be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'd have to go to the tanning salon a little bit. Yeah. Let's, let's just keep it what it is. Right? Okay. We're going to throw that one out the window for now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They say. All right, y'all. So here's where we're about to get into it. I already showed you we're applying the color. Can't wait to show you the results. All this, this metallic, this metal though, it's like, boom, boom. You been, well, so. You <laughs> so. All over. I was. Did you, do you don't have one in there though, do you? No. Okay, would you ever? I thought about it. Okay, because I did a client that she got her done. She yeah, I will say, out of all the piercings I've ever had, the industrial mm -hmm. hurts the worst. What's the industrial? The one, there, one, that right, one right there. Is it still? No. Okay. Because I be feeling for people when I be like, when they get their ears pierced, I be like, it's like I can feel like their pain when they be like, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because they had to go through, so cartilage isn't that bad, mm -hmm. but going through the top of the cartilage, so like the top part of my ear hurt the worst. Sweet. So they had to pierce it. And you probably went to a tattoo place, right? Oh, yeah. You didn't so I wanted to get my nose pierced and I was going to take Kamada. Uh -huh. But that didn't happen. But it didn't happen because like, I kept bringing it up and it was kind of like, eh, maybe kind of, huh? So I wanted I, to get something pierced with it. Yeah. I like a little you bonding moment. So I that's home. what I did with Samara. Yes. I got my nose pierced with her for her birthday this year. Do you see a nose piercing? No. That ish closed up all the way. It was like my body rejected it. Mm. But it was probably because I didn't go to a tattoo person. Where did you go? I went to one of the places in the mall. Ma'am. I know. I should have called you. But now that I know. Tattoo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So and they had a place in the mall, apparently, that does tattoos that actually did it. But I, I felt a little bit more intimidated, you know, with it being like her 16th birthday. And like, I've never seen it being done there. Because I've only got her ears pierced. Oh, yeah. At the mall. And the whole thing. Well, so I was going to take her and we were going to get pierced together. But she was going back and forth, so I was like, all right, well, I went and did it. Mm -hmm. And then I hurt her feelings. Yeah. Because she wasn't there. So then I made an agreement that her and I would go get pierced. She can pick the piercing. Mm -hmm. Whatever piercing you want, mm -hmm. we'll go. Mm -hmm. So she got her industrial, and I got mine on the same yeah, year. Yeah, she has but she, in it. Yeah, she has hoops oh, in hers. Okay. So you don't like the bar look? I mean, I do, it just wasn't comfortable. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was thinking like, does it feel like it's pulling one way or the other? Or how is it that? depends on the bar. Okay. But she hates needles. Mm -hmm. So we went to the tattoo parlor um, and they did mine first. Mm -hmm. And then we pulled her back. Um, so you don't want to see it? Well, no, they it. actually won't let somebody come oh, back okay. because People usually, if they don't like needles, like they'll be piercing uh, someone okay. and someone will like pass out oh, okay. in the middle That's of it. Very true. And it's That's not like even the person you're piercing. The cutting the, or the men in the hospital with the mom having the baby. Yep. Same thing, huh? That's so, crazy. I don't know. I don't know what happens to the brain and why that happens. Or the breath or the heart or whoever. Well, I <laughs> whatever. think what happens, people is like their anxiety mm -hmm. goes through the roof and then they hold Stop their breath. Yeah. That makes sense. 
down they go. Down goes Frazier. So she, um, her and I got it together. And then for her birthday, she got her belly button pierced. Mm -hmm. But she, her and I almost have all the same, we have all the same piercings, right? Yeah, okay. you have your nose. Well, my, I'll talk about the ears. Yes. Her and I have all the same ear piercings right now. On the same side, because someone wanted to copy me. Ah. Well, you and Say I copy written, so don't copy me. <laughs> Here's the thing. I said, what year are we doing the industrial? No, I said, you, when I said that, when Here I answered, go. I said, Here I'm doing it on my right. right. And you, I think you, need you just kind of went on with your hair. Face, face, face right. your opponent. <laughs> Round one. Let's see. I'm going to be the judge here. I know you're go you want to be an attorney, but I'm going to be the judge. Okay, face your case. My, I Come on. I my nose pierced, too. That's the thing. Okay. I, and I told you you could do it. But no, you said we could do it, but you but to wait so it doesn't get snagged or something. Yeah, because at the time you were playing sports. Mm -hmm. I'm still playing sports. It, it doesn't matter. And you don't want to put your bar in your ear. So first of all, we got one case I, here. I can only handle one case at a time. Oh my! Determine which who determined the size of I, piercings? Okay. Which and then has. we'll get to the case of what she said about when you can get it and why the fact that you're still doing sports, okay? When she asked, when she asked, I said that I was, I didn't know she meant what side are we doing. Mm. Like, I thought it was like a, like a conversation to get my nerves out because of me and needles. Okay. So I was like, oh, I'll just do my right side because I like all my like, heavier piercings on my right side for some reason. Okay. And she, she was like, okay. She comes out with her right side down. And I'm oh. like, oh, I didn't know this was a wee thing. I knew the piercing was a wee thing. I just didn't know it. I okay, Miss Kamaya. So, so now we're gonna hear the defendant oh. side of the story. <laughs> what is your, your, your take on it? So we were sitting in the tattoo parlor, okay. and I asked, "Was it the same one?" Uh huh. Oh, this is your side. This is not your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out. <laughs> You're gonna be held in contempt. Yes. Um. So we were sitting in the tattoo parlor and we were waiting mm -hmm. and I looked at her and I said, what side are we doing? I don't think she heard the we. Mm -hmm. I think she, like her nerves were mm -hmm. kind of there. Okay. And I think when she answered to her point, she didn't recognize it was a we mm -hmm. piercing and a we mm -hmm. side. Okay. Mother, and what I do you have to say for that statement, Ms. Kamaya? I think that's very valid. I did not hear we, I heard side piercing. I was like, do, any, do you have any witnesses? Myself. Mm. That's <laughs> not enough in a court of law. So I need to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you guys think that Kamaya's testimony is giving accuracy here? Or do you think mom is giving the true depiction of what actually happened? Sound off in the comments below because I'm biased. I'm a mom and I know how these teenagers be out here in the streets trying to call us out and trying to tell us what we said and what we didn't say. When we really said what we said, they just wasn't listening. Okay. But yeah, let me know in the comments below and enjoy these last few clips of her hair color processing, seeing what it's done. It went from orange to this. So Definitely stay tuned and I will see you guys at the end.